Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited about the products I'm going to review. Hip Dot recently released a collection that I'm super excited about. If you don't know who Hip Dot is, they are an indie brand and they also released a collection by Kesha, the artist. So they started like a small indie brand and slowly they've been getting bigger and I'm super excited for them. Their products are really, really nice. I have featured, I believe, another palette of theirs. I will link it if I did. I'll link it up here for you guys to see. But their eyeshadows are like super pigmented. They have a really good formula for their eyeshadows. They're easy to blend. But they recently launched a collection, like I said, that I'm super excited about. And I'm not going to ramble. I'm just going to show you guys. And it is the Tapatio Collection. Now, if you don't know what Tapatio is, it's hot sauce. It is it's one of my favorite hot sauce. And if you go to a Mexican restaurant, more than likely you're going to find a bottle of hot sauce, tapatio, at each table. <laughs> so it, it, like, I got the PR box because it's so adorable. This was not sent to me. I actually bought the PR box. And it comes with a, a La Diabla pressed pigment and glitter palette. El Dorado Pressed Pigment and Glitter Palette. So apparently there was there's two. Tapatio Salsa Lip Gloss Set and Drip Sponge. So let's see. So I'm going to open this up and show you guys what's in here. And this is what it looks like. I love it. I love it so much. Because I love Tapatio Hot Sauce. So... Uh, like the back of the box said, here's a little sponge. Oh my gosh, it says Tapatio on it. <laughs> it's so cute. All right, so if they've got the, I don't know, I might not use this. I might actually save it because it actually says Tapatio on it. I don't know, I'm such a sucker for all this stuff. <laughs> What's this one? The eyeshadow. Uh, El Dorado Press Pigment and Glitter Palette. So this is what it looks like here. Is that cute or what? Oh my gosh. And, whoop. Ooh, that is pretty. It's got a mirror, but I'm not gonna flash you. So these are like orange and terracottas and gold glitter. The other one is La Diabla Hip Dot Tapatio. And this is what this one looks like. And this is, this one is more, like peachy peaches and peachy colors and brown so the other one's more you know golden and then it's got the bottle of hot sauce oh my god the hot sauce has a koozie on it it's like a little keychain check it out i'm so excited <laughs> i'm such a dork i know <laughs> check it out is that cute or what Oh my goodness, I can just throw this in my purse and if they don't have hot sauce wherever I go, she's got the little bottle in there. Wherever I go, I can just whip out my keychain with some tapatio hot sauce <laughs> and I'm good to go. Oh my god, that's so cute. And then, look at this. The lip glosses are little bottles. Oh my goodness check that out is that adorable or what well there's no colors i guess you can go by the bottom of the bottles but they has got all these little bottles on them oh my gosh are that is that just not the most cutest thing you've ever seen and then there's two more so there's five little tapatio hot sauces bottles uh, lip gloss and tapatio bottles so we'll see which one we try. But for now, let's see what a kind of eyeshadow look we could come up with. So I'm going to set, put this aside and zoom in and let's get, let's get playing with this adorable collection. All right, so now that I've zoomed in, I am going to start off with, all right, so I'm gonna start off with this orangey color here. So I'm going to place this color in the crease. So I'm going to put this right here. And now that I have the color, I placed the color where I want it. Now I can go ahead and 
blend it out so that it doesn't look, you know, just grab this fluffier brush and kind of go on the edges right here. Just kind of to really buff that color out so it looks nice and blended. So let's go ahead and blend this out in kind of like windshield wiper motions and then little circles just kind of along the edge. Now that we've deposited the pigment, then we can go ahead and do that. Kind of little swirls so there are no harsh lines at all. And it's okay if you go out because then once we apply the uh, foundation and concealer, we can correct all that out there. And now that we have that, then we can go in with a small little brush. I love this Morphe 506. It's really tiny, tiny brush. It can get really nicely into those corners. I'm going to use this, take this like terracotta color right here. Just put that right on the outside here, kind of in a V shape and go up and out. You can see those, I just dipped it in once and it's really nicely pigmented. Now that I've applied it on the outer corner, then I can take another fluffy brush and again, really get rid of those harsh lines, any harsh lines. And whatever's left, just bring it into the center part of the eye. And now that we've blended those two colors in together, I'm gonna grab a little bit of the Pia Louise, my Pia Louise base. Put a little dot right here because I really wanna brighten up the center of my eye. And take that and put that right here to kind of brighten the center of the eye. So now that we have brightened the center of the eye, then I'm gonna take a flat brush, synthetic brush like this. And I'm going to put First, on the outer corner, I'm gonna put Spicy Mommy, which is this one. The names are awesome. So with the wet brush, this is a shimmer. And then I'm just gonna put that right here at the outer corner between the dark, like, terracotta that we applied. I like, I like mixing shimmers because they look like they kind of change with the light. So I'm gonna put that right there. And we can always go in and deepen the corner a little more if we would lighten it up too much. So I put that on the outer corner and now for more in the center, I'm gonna go in with Drip. Right there, this kind of peachy color. Put that more towards the center of the eyelid. Ooh. That is so pretty. I love these. I love a good, a nice peachy pink shimmer and kind of blend that into, what was the other one? Spicy Mommy. So now, um, last but not least, towards the center, I'm gonna apply this green, which is Con Limon. So perfect of a name. We like everything with Limon. <laughs> Kind of really just keep that in the center here of the eye. And then uh, I think I'd like to darken up the corner again a little bit. So I'm going to take that Morphe 507 again and take that terracotta color. So I think we lost it a little bit with the shimmers. And deepen up this outer corner a little bit. Then there's this glitter. I recommend a glitter glue so you don't scratch your eye. But if you're like going somewhere special, night out, the chunky glitter has all three colors, the green, the peach, and the gold. Look at how pretty that is. Ooh, sparkly. That's called fuego. So we put some fuego on the center of my eye. All right, so I am going to finish the rest of my face and then we can finish the under eye. So I'll be right back. All right, now that we have our foundation and blush and bronzer and all that fun stuff, it's time to finish up the eyes. And I'm going to take the terracotta color. It's called Bonita. And put that on the out, outer corner to connect with the top part of my of the eyelid 
And then I'm gonna take a fluffy brush, like this one right here, and take this Salsa Picante, which is the uh, orangey color that we started off. With. Well, it's kind of a mustard, more of a mustard color. Look up and blend that out towards the center. And then I'm gonna use this uh, Exhibitionist from L'Oreal uh, Eyeliner, 24 hour coal liner in the color, it looks like it's a brown, a dark brown, and put that in my waterline. I'm gonna use this liquid eyeliner from ColourPop for the top. So now that the lashes are on and all the eyes are done, let's go try the lip glosses. I'm curious to see if they really work or if they're just for show. <laughs> I don't even know how you, oh, okay, so you unscrew them. Oh, all right, all right. So you unscrew the little See how it's right there? And then you just take it out of the little bottle. So, I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips really quick. Gonna use this uh, chicory from MAC. So I think that'll be a nice color to match. And let's try this little, this little hot sauce. Lip gloss. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty. And it smells good and it's not spicy. <laughs> oh, that's really pretty. I like that. I have to bring out these colors in larger, larger sizes because they're pretty. They got a little bit of, a little bit of a sparkle to them. Glad they're not just for show. <laughs> and let me see, let's, let's try out the other ones and see what they look like. So this one's more of a pinky color. Let's see if I can put it here, you guys can see it. Here's that pink from this bottle. And it's from this little one. Of course I have to try some on. Then there's this deep color. And then the last one is kind of like a cherry red. So that's the Tapatio collection from Hip Dot. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you not? I think it's really cute and really pretty. And if you like the Tapatio sauce, I think it's a fun collectible as well. I've got already several collectibles. Don't nobody tell my husband. But uh, this one is gonna be, I know it's gonna be a favorite, but I am gonna use the eyeshadows. I like the, I like the eyeshadows, they're really pretty. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Would you buy it, would you not? Do you like it? Uh, do you like Tapatio hot sauce or which is your favorite hot sauce? And as always, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time I upload a new beauty video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up as it helps my channel. And as always, don't forget to stay safe and healthy and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.